Looking back at it now, it is clear that the first objective, the liberation of the South, was not accomplished. But at that time, we did attack the command centers of the American forces and the puppet regime in the urban areas as well as in the provinces. We attacked the provincial headquarters, the Saigon presidential palace, the various secret police headquarters and the radio stations. And in Saigon, we fought our way into the American embassy, which was the most important American headquarters in the south. We were able to occupy all these places, but we could not hold them. Therefore, we did not gain enough time for the people to stage their general uprising. For us, you know, strategy is never purely military. Our strategy is always a general, an integrated strategy, simultaneously military, political, and diplomatic. Thus, the Tet Offensive of 1968 obviously had an objective that was both military and political. What they have realized in the city, that the people was against them. So I believe that the general uprising, they have a hope, have not happened. They have met with the anti-communist sentiment from the people in the city. So they fell in both countryside and city.